What's up guys, I'm Jesse here, you're watching JLS Comics, and I want to bring to you the things that I bought today, or brought, picked up, bought a couple things for Halloween Comic Fest 2016, it's October 28th, excuse me, 2016. So we got treated to uh, a bunch of free books from various publishers, and uh, you gotta go to your comic shop to pick them up. There's still time if you haven't done it yet, uh, a lot of really cool stuff. Um, they have the full size issues, which are these of course. Um, and then they have uh, mini comic packs as well. And an idea for it, and we mentioned this on the show, um, the live show on Tuesday, you can actually give those out uh, in lieu of candy or with candy, but they're little mini comics that would be really cool to give out to the kids. So anyways, I went to my shop, well I went to one of them uh, called Lauderdale Comics. It's right on uh, Federal Highway in, um, in Fort Lauderdale here. And it was a lot of fun. They had a ton of the books out. Uh, this is the first one I got here. Uh, it's by Marvel Comics, uh, part of the Star Wars line, and it's uh, uh, Dr. Afra, Star Wars uh, HCF number one. Um, this is the same cover as her first appearance, which was Darth Vader number three. Um, definitely wanted to pick this up. I think it's a reprint of that same issue. Um, yeah, it is. See, Vader book one, part three. So it's a reprint of that. Um, it does say, you know, it's a number one up here. Um, and then DCS says... Uh, Darth, Darth Vader, Dr. Aphra, number one, Halloween Comic Fest 2016. Uh, same creative team with Karen Gillan and everyone else. So, um, definitely wanted to check this out because I'm very interested in uh, what's coming for Dr. Aphra here very shortly. Um, so that's the first book I got. Um, there was a lot of people there uh, dressed up and stuff. I was a bunch of kids and um, I was <laughs> being chased by Leatherface for a while there with his chainsaw. It was, trying to um, scare me while I was shopping. Um, and then they had some back issues out as well. Um, you know, some, some bins or um, long boxes to look through. So I picked a couple things from that and it was a great deal. It was actually buy one, get two free. Um, so here's the back of this one. Um, buy one, get two free. And it was all, you know, anything, depending on the title or the publisher, anything from like, you know, the last issue, meaning a couple weeks ago or last month, all the way up to, you know, a year or so ago. So they had some, you know, good back issue selection, uh, but recent back issue selection, um, if that makes sense for you. Um, so this one here, it's from Benitez. Uh, it's uh, Wraithborn. If you know uh, Joe Benitez, if you know Lady Mechanica, you should also be familiar with Wraithborn. If you like those and the art, you will absolutely like this. Uh, the story of the script are by Marcia Chen with... Um, pencils and everything else. Uh, Joe helped with the story, but also he worked on the pencils. Coloring is Studio F. And uh, Comic Craft, who does a lot of the lettering for, for comics, they've been doing that for a couple decades now, also worked on this. Um, I really like um, the way the colors pop in this. It's cool. Um, okay, so it says on the back, Wraithborn HCF is a special Halloween Comic Fest reprint of Wraithborn number one. And you can see here this little square. Um, a lot of the shops actually, and there's one here, they leave a space for them to like print or put a sticker for their shop to advertise. But I am very glad that my shop did not do that because I don't want those on here. Um, see, there's another one. Okay. Uh, this one here is Zombie Tramp versus Dollface from Action Lab. Uh, special one issue, it's for mature readers. And uh, it's definitely an interesting thing here. It's mature readers, but <laughs> the art style is, um, you know, check it out. Okay. Um, yeah, and then it gets into some of the other stuff that Action has. This looks like a, a... okay, here we go. And then on the, on the front it says, Warning, this book contains an all new 3D printed, ball jointed, super weaponized wit killing cutie. So there you go. That is going to be Zombie Tramp versus Dollface HCF. Um, okay, so next I picked up Evil Dead 2 uh, Beyond Dead by Dawn. This is number one. And this is from Space Goat Publishing. It's a second printing for Evil Dead 2. 
uh, volume one, number one. So they're considering this part of that volume. I'm not a separate, you know, or a one shot or anything. Um, it's second printing, it says in there, of that uh, Evil Dead first issue. So there's that, pretty cool. And this one I was really excited for. It. Okay, so you've heard me talk about um, Black Eyed Kids, B-E-K, Aftershock. We've had Joe Pruitt on the show. Um, amazing guy, I love what he's doing over there at Aftershock. Um, but when I saw this, okay, I said that is absolutely one that I'm gonna pick out. Um, okay, so it's Black Eyed Kids, uh, number one, it's Halloween Comic Fest. Um, but it, they, it's black and white inside, okay? So what you're calling it is the Black Eyed Kids number one black and white Halloween special, okay? So definitely check this out. If you've been hearing me talk about this book, Black Eyed Kids, um, but you haven't had a chance to pick up an issue, now's your chance to pick up the first issue for free. Granted, it's gonna be black and white, whereas the, the regular one has some coloring to the inside, um, cause you know, you got, um, uh, you know, you got Dylan, Kadransky, and everybody else on the team that kind of work together. Um, they're still on this, um, they just removed the um, the coloring from it, so it's inks and line art. Um, same amazing story. If you're going today, definitely check this book out. It's really cool. Um, and it actually says here, um, this should be the horror story of the year. Nothing else has come close to the sheer amount of unease, goosebumps, and shivers I get when I'm reading these issues. So that should tell you how good it is. Okay, Black Eyed Kids number one. Definitely happy to have that added to the um, my run there of, of that story. Um, this one, I haven't read it. It was an eight part story, so eight issues uh, through Marvel. This ties into Civil War II, and it is uh, Mockingbird. So Mockingbird number eight. Um, writing on this is Chelsea Kane. Um, and she actually, there was a lot of backlash from this story saying that, you know, didn't like it. She got harassed a lot on Twitter. I actually wrote an article for this on Comic Booked, if you want to check it out. Um, Joel Jones did this cover, by the way. Um, so she ended up quitting Twitter because of the harassment and the bullying and just the sheer amount of um, negativity she received there. She did write a response on her own website, and again, comicbooked.com. Um, if you check out my article, um, you can read it there in full. Um, but the thing is, you know, people wanted this removed and, and stopped for, you know, whatever their reasons were, whatever their agenda was, whatever they were trying to push. But myself included, it actually made me more interested in the issue and I ended up buying it um, almost because of that, because of the curiosity that it piqued. So their um, outcry almost backfired because, and again, myself included, I probably wouldn't have gotten this if it wasn't for that. So um, I'm interested to see what the hoopla, so to speak, was about. Haven't really dug into it yet myself, um, but now I can. And quite frankly, I actually really like this cover. I think it's pretty nice. Got a little bit of the um, Tomb Raider pants going on there. Guess she's at the beach though, so it is acceptable. Um, and then the back issues I was talking about, it was buy one, get two free. So I got the here okay so um, we got um, Harley Quinn number eight this is part of the new 52 run I only need I think a couple more of these um, before his number 11 before I have that entire run complete um, literally just a couple more and that should be done um, ended up getting uh, demonic number two so issue number one was really good um, so definitely um, wanting to see where this goes this is through skybound and image as well. Um, you get to decide which ones I bought and which of the two that were free. Um, Deathstroke, pick this up. Cool cover. I've heard some really good things about this. I um, haven't had the chance to read it myself, um, but now I can. Um, this is number eight for Scarlet option. It's been optioned for a while. Um, and again, now I can add this to that. Probably need a couple more of these. Um, and I'll have this whole Scarlet run complete. For the cover A's, not the cover B's. And then last but not least, I got uh, this um, show variant for Civil War II. Um, I had skipped number five, but now I have it. Now I guess I just need number six, so I'll pick that up if and when I can. But quite frankly, it's one of the books that I had put back. And I've talked about how, um, you know, they've been sort of, um, it, there was delays and stuff. And now the stories that Marvel are putting out are 
beyond Civil War, beyond the event. So it's kind of like, well, I kind of already know what happened with it. So where's the tension and where's the interest in, you know, closing out the story? But the completionist in me is um, saying, get that last damn issue. Anyways, I, I got this. Um, I like these um, these covers here. So um, That's what I got for Halloween Comic Fest 2016. Um, wondering what you guys got, so let me know down below in the comments. Um, definitely want to see what you picked up, uh, what you thought of them, um, and any stories you have from your shops. Do they have like a contest? Do they have some good deals going on? Um, you know, things like that. So definitely down below. Um, and uh, if you can give the thumbs up, a uh, little bit of a like here, that would be uh, much appreciated as well. If it's your first time stopping by, we all, everybody says this, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you um, don't miss any of the upcoming stuff. Got a lot of good stuff for you on the way. Um, and um, I don't want you guys to miss it, so if you do that, you, you, won't, uh, you won't miss it. Um, that's it. Uh, this is Jesse here, JLS Comics, and I'll see you next video.